Hey guys, it's me Suja over here. Welcome back to another video. So on this video, I'm going to be talking about what do I think about the Vietnamese language? Is it difficult to learn? So um, I got this um, I got this request from uh, one of my uh, commenters uh, for one of my videos, and he actually asked me to um, you know come up with this. Um, come with this read come, come up with my personal experience um, uh, whether Vietnamese language is difficult to learn so I'm going to give you my personal insights uh, but before that if you're new to my channel the name of my channel is called Asujo in Vietnam I've been living over here for seven years now uh, I was an English teacher before for four years and then I started my online business and I'm also a full-time youtuber so if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel it takes less than two seconds to hit the subscribe button and that way you can support my work and before i start um uh, yapping around let me just have a bit of my morning coffee better okay so i'm going to give you my personal experience now according to me um i feel that um, the Vietnamese language is a very sweet language. Um, you know, I really love, you know, when people speak in Vietnamese. Oh, hold on, there's something in my eye. I don't know what that was, yeah. So um, it's a very sweet language. And, um, and you know, I just love, you know, when the Vietnamese people, when they talk in, among themselves, it's kind of uh, very fast, but at the same time, it's very sweet. Now, you got to take into notice that um, if you're traveling to Hanoi, um, the tone of the Vietnamese language is going to be way different compared to the tone of the Vietnamese language uh, in the south, uh, which I'm um, uh, like Ho Chi Minh, Saigon. Um, so yeah, uh, they have different tones, right? I believe it's like they have like Vietnamese language has got like five different tones. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so yeah, it's, um, you know, like, and also I've been, you know, like, uh, you know, reading on, uh, forums and checking some YouTube videos and all that, you know, like foreigners, uh, foreigners, like, you know, they, they, they talk about, you know, like how difficult it is to learn the Vietnamese language as it is categorized as one of the most difficult languages to learn, um, in uh, Southeast Asia or maybe in the world, I don't know. But according to me, I think um, it nothing is like difficult, you know, like, you know, you can learn any language you want. And, you know, if you're putting the uh, dedication and if you have the, um, if you have the passion to learn any language, um, you know, you can, you can definitely, um, learn the lang learn any language within six months time to speak basic um or to speak the basic level and then you know like down uh, like a year down you know you can construct you know uh, proper sentences and have you know like decent uh, conversations um using that foreign language so it all comes down to the passion it all comes down to the dedication um, and I think it's a shame that, you know, living out here in Vietnam for seven years, you know, like um, um, most expats, I would consider myself included in the list. We haven't taken the effort and initiative of learning the Vietnamese language, uh, especially for expats who have been living over here in Vietnam for over five years. I think it's a shame. Um, you know, I do speak basic Vietnamese. Um, I can communicate with the local people, um, like in terms of, um, you know, what I want to buy or something. Um, and the other thing which I have developed over these years out here living for seven years in Vietnam is I understand, um, I basically kind of understand what the conversation is. Although I don't, I, although I cannot speak it, but I do understand when, Viet, when Vietnamese people are talking among, among themselves in terms of the tones, in terms of the volume level, 
um, you know, just keep a rule in mind is that um, if you see that the Vietnamese people are talk, talking softly, politely, um, that's great. But if you're like in some kind of a complication um, uh, and, you know, like if somebody wants to argue with you or some Vietnamese people, they want to actually stir up some kind of they have some issues or something, you know, the level of the volume goes up. Right. And you can make out, you know, like the conversation is kind of going south. So um, so I do understand. And also one of the most advantages, uh, uh, one big advantage is that um, unlike in Chinese or in Korean language, where the characters are very different, even in um, Thai and Korean, where the characters are very different, uh, the Vietnamese language uses um, uh, alphabetical English alphabetic uh, in English alphabetical letters uh, although there is a slight difference uh, with some tones and everything but like if you go to the shops out here and you know you can just read you can read it out actually in plain English um, and also it's easy for me when I travel around here in Vietnam or if I go to Ho Chi Minh or wherever if I want to know where I am, so you'll notice all the shops over here, all the houses out here, they do have the um, English written, they have the addresses which are written, right? So it's like, say, for example, I'm in which district? So the district over here in Vietnamese is uh, referred to as Quan, so Q-U-A-N. So if I'm in District 1, Quan 1, District 2, Quan 2, Quan three, Quan four, Quan five, uh, Quan six, Quan nine, Quan ten. So remember, if you're if you want to know which district you are in, uh, remember the Vietnamese word for district is known as Quan. Okay, so uh, at least if you're here in uh, Ho Chi Minh, right? Um, you, it's very easy for you. So um, and also other locations in Vietnam, they do have. The name of the addresses, you know, like, you know, if you're in, if you're in Hanoi, you know, like they have different addresses and everything. But I, I specifically spoke about Ho Chi Minh, Saigon, because I've been living out here. I've, I've lived in Saigon for over four and a half years. So uh, just giving you an idea about this, right? Um, yeah, so grammar, vocabulary that you need to keep into notice, you know. You know, I just want to give you my personal story, like... Um, you know, I lived 10 years of my life in Russia when I was growing up, you know, uh, during my childhood. Um, I learned Russian, you know, I had I learned Russian. I was in a school over there. I did my schooling over there back in Russia. And, you know, uh, although I am from India, but um, besides English, the, the second most easiest language for me is Russian. So um, I do speak Russian. Of course, I haven't been practicing Russian for many years now because I've not been living there. Um, and, you know, I'm, I hardly communicate with any Russian people in Southeast Asia. I mean, although there are a lot of Russian tourists, but, um, you know, I found Russian to be much easier compared to my native language, which is Hindi um, back in India. Right. Um, so similarly, like, uh, but yes, you know, I, I do. I do have this um, desire to learn the Vietnamese language since I've been here for many years. And, you know, I, I would I would really like to pick up the language to really study this seriously. The Vietnamese language, uh, once I, um, you know, like when I come back again to Vietnam or if somebody wants to offer me a Vietnamese course, um, I'll be very happy. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, um, and, you know, you would be surprised that, you know, there are a couple of expat YouTubers, um, you know, Western YouTubers, they speak very good Vietnamese. Um, you know, they're, they're loved among the locals. They got many subscribers. Like I'm talking about like more than 500K subscribers and everything, you know, they move around the streets of, I mean, forget the subscribers and even, you know, like, um, you know, other YouTubers, you know, growing YouTubers out here in Vietnam, you know, like uh, they speak very good Vietnamese, you know, they're loved by the locals. Um, they go through the local alleys. Um, they make friends with the um, with the local Vietnamese uncles, aunts, you know, um, 
And you know, what I've noticed is that if you make that initiative of speaking Vietnamese out here, <clears throat> especially uh, like I try, I mean, even if you're in District 1 or wherever in Ho Chi Minh or Saigon or um, anywhere in Vietnam, I presume that they would they would have that smile on their face because they know that you're making an effort that you are able to communicate you got to know you got to keep this in mind that vietnam is not an english-speaking country um you know unlike in thailand where you know majority of the people they do speak english because it's catered for the tourism market but um vietnam is not a very tourism oriented market i mean a majority of the economy also runs on manufacturing so um there are there will be challenges for you. Um, so I highly recommend that. Um, yes, apart from, you know, going to the tourist locations um, in Saigon or in Hanoi or in Da Nang or wherever, you wouldn't be having a lot of challenges. But if you are stepping out of the tourist locations, you will be having challenges. You know, then you'll have to use a Google Translate. Um, and, you know, then you have to communicate. And I always said this, that if you're in the dating scene and if you want to date a Vietnamese girl and if you don't speak Vietnamese, I highly recommend that you date someone who speaks English. The last thing you want is dating a Vietnamese girl using Google Translate and she cannot speak a bit of English and, you know, you won't be able to crack jokes or you, you won't be able to break the ice, um, you know. So, yeah, so um, it's just that... Um, it all comes down to dedication, the passion. Like I said, Vietnamese language, according to me, is a very sweet language. They speak very fast and tones are different. Like if you go to Hanoi, it's different. I, I personally find the people when they speak in Hanoi, it's a bit louder. And they speak like with the Z sound, like Z, Z. But um, down, in, down here in uh, Saigon, um, they have like a very different uh, tone. And I prefer I prefer the Saigon tone. It's it's much better, uh, and especially I love when Vietnamese girls speak Vietnamese. You know they have that sweet, they have that sweet um, you know um, accent pronunciation and everything. But on the other hand, if you got some pissed out Vietnamese, you know like you can make how the conversation is going south, and you know like. You know, like I've seen, like I've seen some Vietnamese girls, you know, they get into heated, heated arguments, you know, like, you know, you can make it out, you know. So, um, yeah, so just a quick tip over here um, before I wrap up is um, before you come to Vietnam uh, and if you're going to be staying out here for two weeks or for a month or if you're coming on that 90 day e visa, um, learn some basic Vietnamese words. You can go to YouTube, uh, learn some basic Vietnamese words like per day learn two new words or five new words, um, you know, repeat, repeat, play, uh, learn how to pronounce, pronounce the words, uh, basic words like hello, thank you, um, I would like to go, or I want, how much, how much, like, uh, you know, bao nhiêu tiền. And it's like, I feel like the Vietnamese language is a bit stretchable language, you know, they stretch certain words, you know, like, to the max. And, you know, like, don't get me wrong, you know, like, uh, when they when people speak, um, you know, uh, it's like, you know, like speaking like a bit from the nostrils, you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, um, I, I would definitely, uh, you know, love to learn uh, the Vietnamese language seriously, uh, provided you know, if I'm going to be staying out here longer, um, you know, so that is pretty predictable. So, yeah, if somebody would like to offer me a Vietnamese class or something. Uh, I would be very grateful. Yeah, so um, I would love to hear from you, you know, like, um, are you are you having any challenges learning the Vietnamese language? Um, you know, like, um, do you do you speak Vietnamese? Um, did you have any? Uh, are you able to communicate with the Vietnamese people um, during your stay over here in Vietnam? Uh, so yeah, I would love to hear from you, you know, like, what do you think about the Vietnamese language? Uh, is it difficult for you to learn? Um, you know, so give me all your feedbacks. You can uh, put that all in the comment section below. Uh, if you like watching this video, make sure to like my video and all the good stuff. Additionally, if you found this video to be informational, you can buy me a coffee. The link is down in the description below. 
And if you're traveling around in Southeast Asia and you want to, you want to start a successful online business, uh, you can check out the link down in the description below. Uh, just a quick one, I am going to be coming up with a couple of my merch, with my merch, with my uh, Sujo and Vietnam t-shirts, mugs and everything. So I'll keep you posted when that's out, right? So with that being said, you guys have a great day. This is me, Sujoy. Peace out.